Alrighty, Chef Buck here, and today I'm going to toast up some pita chips. I made a little bit of hummus, and nothing goes with hummus better than pita chips, and it's super easy to make. Now, your average run-of-the-mill piece of pita bread is going to break down into 12 chips. First, you want to cut them in half. Then you want to cut each half in thirds, and that's going to give you six pieces. And then you're going to take those and divide those in half, you know, and that's going to give you 12. And that's, that's just math, man. Look at this pile of pita chips magically growing. Now with your common run-of-the-mill pita chip, usually just spread that out on a, on a baking sheet or something. Take a little brush and coat it with olive oil. But with my super-duper fantastic top secret, you know, underground pita chip technique, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to pour some oil on a plate and totally immerse one side of that pita into the oil and then stack it in your hand, you know, so that the oily side is up against the unoiled side of the previous pita so that what you're doing basically is coating both sides with olive oil. You know, it's not, it's not a very good verbal explanation, but look at the picture. You see that? See that video? See how I'm doing that? See how it's, well, look at this. It's going in the oil, covering that side, then up under that, you know, so pretty obvious but you know it, it, it makes for a crispier pita chip now give your pita triangles a good squeeze they're gonna soak up all that oil you know it's kind of disgusting yeah but you know massage therapists have to put up with this crap every day and boom look at that a beautiful plate of potential pita chips so now grab your baking pan and we'll go ahead and spread our pita chips out then sprinkle them with as much or as little salt as you like but what's gonna make or break your pita chip are the spices don't be shy with them you know use whatever you like but go a little heavy-handed I use a lot of curry I use a lot of garlic I like to use some Cajun seasonings cumin cayenne pepper it's better to be over spiced than under spice you know it's like a relationship and that's it man the crispier the better the spicier the better that's cooking 101 you know it's not the healthiest way to do it you know because it's kind of you know instead of just drizzling a little bit of oil you're kind of coating both sides with oil but listen to this can you hear that? I don't know, there's so much noise going on here. But man, this is crisp. You gotta be careful with them though, because they will burn. Man, they will burn instantaneously on you. But I like them. I like mine as crisp as they're gonna get, you know, right before burning. That's how I like them. You know, because I like, I'm on the edge. That's how I live my life. You know, whether I'm, you know, I'm out in the world, you know, attaining the big goals in life, or in my kitchen eating pita chips, you know, I like it on the edge.